Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. So for today, I'm starting on my bare nails and I know they look absolutely atrocious. It's been quite a busy two weeks. I have been just doing a lot. So yeah, my nails just look kind of crazy right now. But before we jump into the nail prep, I do want to mention that this set is inspired by Hair over on Instagram. Not sure if that's how you say it. But besides that, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my nail prep. I'm just using my cuticle pusher just to push back my cuticles. It has been quite some time since I've done my nails, as you can tell. So I do have a lot of cuticle growth. Next, I'm going to go in with a cuticle bit just to further lift up any dead skin. Now, during this step, I'm making sure to really only focus on further lifting up those cuticles and dead skin. I'm not really applying too much pressure because I am trying to grow out my nails like nice and healthy. And if you can't tell, my nails are extremely thin and damaged so I'm making sure to be very gentle during this step. Next up, I'm going in with my cuticle nippers just to get rid of that excess cuticle. Remember that when you are clipping your cuticles that you were only clipping your cuticles. You don't want to start going too far down into the skin because the skin, obviously around your nails, is there to protect your nails and prevent anything from getting in. So make sure that you are focusing only on the new growth. And so at this point, I'm just going in with my straight edge clippers just to get rid of that excess nail growth. I'm really trying my best to get rid of the thin nail as much as I can. For me, this just helps the growth process go a lot smoother for me. I don't like to keep my nails super long, especially since they are so thin. After, I'm just gonna go ahead in with a nail file just to smooth out the edges. Now, since I started using the peel off base coat method, I have had issues with the matte top coat like sticking to my nails. So I'm basically just going in with a mini buffer just to smooth out the surface and get rid of that excess gel top coat. And before I go ahead and add the peel off base coat, I'm just going to wipe off my nails with some isopropyl alcohol. First, I'm going in with a small drop of cuticle oil on all of my nails. And what I have noticed is that I don't need to apply too much oil, especially when I'm using the matte top coat, because then it will really like start popping off. So I don't really need to add too much during this process. And of course, I'm just gonna follow up with two layers of matte top coat.
so here is where you can really see how damaged my nails are as you can see there's a little like white spot that's lifted up that's actually acrylic but right underneath it you can see ridges in my nails where like it's starting to peel off layers of my nail overall it's safe to say that my nails are definitely struggling and i'm just trying to get them back in a good space because i definitely do not like the state of my nails So now I'm going in with my triple XL nail tips. I use these in pretty much all of my videos. Everything that I use, of course, will be linked down in the description box below. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and start sizing out my nail tips, making sure that they fit sidewall to sidewall. Next, I'm going to take that same matte top coat just to glue on those nail tips. And lastly, before I do any type of shaping, I'm just gonna go ahead and with one more layer of matte top coat. Now, I feel like this just helps the nail tip stick a little bit better, especially before you go ahead and start filing. Otherwise, they start flying all over the place. So after cutting down those nail tips, I am going in with my 8080 grit nail file just to file the edges of the nail tips. I feel like when I don't do this, you can see the tip through the acrylic and I really don't like that look. So I really only do this a tiny bit. I don't go too crazy because I don't want them to come off. So at this point, I'm going in with my medium carbide bit just to get the ends of the nail. I feel like when I go in with a file, especially when I'm using the matte top coat, it's a lot more risky. So I just like to go in with either my medium carbide bit or my medium sanding band just to get that nice shape that I want. So we are finally into the application process. Basically what I'm doing for this part, I'm taking some clear acrylic, dipping it into a blue um, fine glitter, and I'm just using that as my base for the ombre. But as you guys know, especially if you've watched my previous uploads, you guys know that I like to talk to you guys during the application process, at least for a little bit. So I am very much aware of the fact that I've been gone for like two weeks and I am so, so sorry. I am so embarrassed to be honest. Like I can't believe I've been gone for this long. I don't feel too bad because there's just a lot going on just in general, like in life, there's just a lot going on in the media and politics and the economy, like everything is just falling apart. And sometimes I feel like it gets to me a little bit more than it should get to me. Um, I'm very much affected by um, just the state of the world right now. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can relate, especially if you live here in the States or if you're just a human being and you live on planet Earth. But regardless of that, I don't feel like this is the time nor the place to really discuss a lot of those important topics. I do wanna to touch on them and maybe like my next few uploads because I feel like they definitely are important to talk about even if i do focus mainly on nails and beauty i do still want to talk about the very important issues and i understand that a lot of these topics are a lot harder to discuss especially if you're someone who deals with just a lot going on in your life i'm pretty sure that's all of us but it's important to realize that we don't get anywhere in life and we can't progress unless we sit down and have these hard discussions. But for now, I'm not going to talk about them because it's still very fresh and new for a lot of us. So for now, um, 
before I really delve into those issues in my next uploads, I do just want to say that this is definitely a place that you can come to and, you know, get your dose of nails, but also get your dose of things that are important. I feel like when, you know, we come on social media and we, you know, get caught up in, you know, beauty or comedy, entertainment, whatever it may be, like, we forget that, like, things need to be talked about, things need to be discussed, and things need to be dealt with. And I know it's a little bit weird since this is like a beauty channel, but I'm a real person and I live in the real world and I can't just blind you guys with pretty nails and, you know, calming videos or whatever. Like I am very much a real person and I wanna talk about real things with you as well. So let me know how you guys feel about me discussing more important topics because I know there's a lot of you who are also you know seeing what's going on and it's definitely something that i feel like is important to talk about but i want to make sure that you guys are comfortable with me discussing those topics but yeah i will shut my mouth for now on that issue but yeah anyways i've been gone for two weeks and i've just been really missing interacting with you guys and talking to you guys through comments about you know the video or anything like that like i just really miss you guys i love the community that we've built throughout the past like two months like it's just i don't know you guys are so sweet so helpful you guys are you guys are like my little friends my little <laughs> online friends so in the past two weeks what have you guys been up to like is there anything new going on i would love to know what you guys have going on in your lives down in the comments below if you feel safe to share i guess with me i've kind of just been focusing on myself and like my mental state i've just been doing a lot of relaxing i've have been like doing a few different things this week so for example i did give my mom some medium knotless braids like two days ago so yeah that's also one of the reasons why my nails look absolutely disgusting but yeah so yeah just kind of like trying to keep myself busy not feeling i don't want to feel like i'm being like just a sloth like i'm a couch potato but like yeah trying to keep myself busy but also remembering to focus on myself and to just mentally unwind if that makes sense but yeah of course if you feel comfortable let me know what you guys have been up to in the last two weeks i would love to hear how everything's been going with you guys but yeah enough of me rambling about absolutely nothing and i will let you guys watch the rest of this application Thank you. 
So here is what the application is looking like once everything is nice and encapsulated. And now we are ready to move on to shaping and filing. So as always, I'm going to go in with my 8080 grit nail file just to get the undersides and the side walls of the nail. Now, I don't have too much work to do when it comes to the undersides of the nail, but I do still want to make sure to make everything nice and crisp. So because I'm using a peel off base coat, I am actually holding down my nail when I file the undersides because I don't want them to pop off. So I actually have a post on my community tab. One of my most recent posts, I said that I was filming an acrylic tutorial and everything was going smooth and I was just about to get onto the nail art and then one of my nails popped off. I was like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> right? And then as I'm gluing the nail tip back on, the entire nail snaps in half and I was devastated. So my reason for telling that story is basically if you are using the peel off base code or whatever, like if you know that your nails have the potential to pop off, be very gentle during this step. Like don't go too crazy. Don't be like me and end up snapping your nails in half and ruin an entire video. And I'm not gonna lie. If I still had the footage, I would probably post it as like a little I guess failed video but like i deleted everything and yeah it just really was like not great like literally all of my nails popped off at least once during the entire process mind you i didn't even get to the nail art so all of my nails have popped off maybe like two hours in and it was just really messy so yeah <laughs> just be careful So now I'm going to go ahead and seal my cuticles using my medium carbide bit. Of course, you could always go in with your medium sanding band, your cuticle bit, or even a nail file. Use whatever feels comfortable for you, but I'm going to go in with my medium carbide bit to do this process. Now, the way I apply my acrylic on the cuticles makes it so I don't have to do too much work, but I do like to use this process to make everything nice and smooth. And of course, this goes without mentioning, make sure that you are moving that drill bit across the surface, making sure not to keep it in one spot or else you will create heat spikes. Next, I'm going in with my 8080 grit nail file just to shape the ends of the nail. As always, I like to say, do whatever works best for you. You can go in with a nail file or you can even use a medium carbide bit or a medium sanding band. It really doesn't matter as long as it's working for your nails. I personally like to go in with my nail file because it works best for longer nails. I don't really do shorter sets, but when I do, I still use the nail file because I feel like it helps maintain that straight shape and it just makes sure that everything is nice and smooth.
Next, I'm just going in with the same nail file to reinforce the tips of the nail. Now, if I were to be creating the moon crescent shape, I would go in with my medium carbide bit, but I kind of want my nails to be a little bit straighter in today's video, so I am going in with the nail file. However, with that being said, I do hold my nail file at an angle. I don't hold it directly perpendicular to the nails, if that makes sense. I hold it slightly angled upwards to create a more C-curve look. And once I'm done filing the tips of the nails, here is what the shape is looking like. And so I'm going in with that carbide bit again just to reinforce that C-curve shape. I don't find the step to be 100% necessary. I like to add it in because it makes the nails appear just a little bit thinner and it also gives it a nice C-curve shape. If you are someone who struggles with your nails looking really thick at the end of the entire process, I definitely recommend incorporating this in. And lastly, before we get into the nail art, I'm just gonna take a mini buffer just to smooth out all of those scratches caused by the nail file. Now, of course, this step isn't necessary, but it does prevent bleeding of the gel polish. Now, I don't often incorporate footage of me mixing the colors together, but based on my other videos of me um, advertising the Savalin kit, I do wanna start to make sure that I show you guys exactly what colors I'm mixing together so that you guys can get the exact same results. So in total, I mixed together three colors. I mixed together a turquoise blue, a dark blue and white to create a shade of blue that was closest to the color of the glitter that I used. But before going in with the nail art, I am going in with some base coat. I normally don't use base coat and you guys already know this, but I decided that if I wanted to have really smooth nail art, I probably needed to use base coat for today's video. So here I'm just making sure to apply it as thin as possible to prevent it from getting super thick. So after applying all of the base coat, I'm just going to wipe off the sides and cure for a full 30 seconds. Next, I'm just going in with some isopropyl alcohol to get rid of that sticky layer. And now we are finally on to the nail art. So basically what I'm doing to create the little smiley faces is I'm taking a dotting tool and just creating these really rough outlines of like circular shapes. And because the smiley faces are a bit distorted and it kind of looks like, you know, like trippy nail art, I feel like this is really good for intermediate nail techs or nail enthusiasts, simply because you don't have to worry too much about it looking super neat. Like even for me, I find it hard to get really like neat circles and like neat lines. So this is really good for those who are beginners. And after I finish with those circles, I do cure each nail for about 10 seconds. So just a quick flash cure. And of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to all of the other nails.
And once I've completed all of these circles, I go ahead and cure for a full 30 seconds. So next up, I'm just going to take some black gel polish and a short liner brush just to create the outline. So I actually did this separately. So I did the outline and then I drew the faces simply because my smiley faces are a bit small and I didn't want to risk smudging anything. But if your smiley faces are big enough, you can definitely do them at the same time. And like I mentioned before, these are supposed to look kind of melty and a little bit trippy. So I'm not too concerned with the black lines being super consistent or neat or anything like that i really just had fun with it and did some free-flowing lines making it thick here and there and yeah just definitely had fun with this And once again, I'm just going to go ahead and cure for a full 30 seconds.
if I'm being honest, when I went into drawing the faces, like before I actually started drawing them, I was super nervous because I really didn't want to smudge anything and I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to get like these really cute faces with the size brush that I used. But these were so cute. Like I, the amount of times that I stopped and was just like, oh my God, like these are adorable. Like, and I just had so much fun, like creating these different faces, creating different sized eyes, different sized mouths, and just giving them their own little personalities. And yes, I probably sound crazy saying that, but like, I don't care. These were so cute, but yeah. Yeah, this is definitely like going to be up there with my top fave like nail art nail designs that i have done on the channel and like i don't know like i just can't like these are so cute but yeah if you are considering like recreating this set this is definitely something that i really love it was super fun like i just had so much fun doing all of these little smiley faces and it's nothing to be afraid of once I have all of those smiley faces drawn on, I'm just going to cure it for a full 30 seconds once again. And to finish off the nail art, I'm just going to go in with one layer of top coat and cure it for a full 60 seconds. And so here is what the nail art is looking like once it's all finished. I am absolutely <laughs> in love, like I'm enamored. But anyways, we're just gonna finish everything off by adding on some cuticle oil.
and that concludes today's set i really hope you guys enjoyed i think that this set came out absolutely amazing like i haven't done something this simple in a very long time but sometimes you kind of just have to go back to being simple because it just it does it for me every single time of course i would love to know what you guys think of this set would you wear it for the spring for the summer i definitely think that it could work for both um specifically the summer so yeah let me know what you guys think of the set down below but anyways i want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i'll see you in the next one